Okay, talking about that registration thing, uh, Mr. Oboe had said that was countered by the spokesperson of the party that that site was a fake site, that online site. And so their concern is that a lot of people... It is the same site that the president registered on, which you are aware of. So you're saying it's an authentic site? Very, very much authentic. Contrary to if the you statement leave, released you can by call the National Publicity Secretary of the party. So if the National Publicity Secretary... The if I'm here, site. If I'm coming, if the National Publicity Secretary of the party says that site as APC registration is being sponsored by the opposition party, how then do you say it's an authentic site? Or is there another site? The National Publicity Secretary never said that. The chairman of the party... Or Adam Sosomole acknowledged that that site has registered 16 million members for the party. Are you saying that the chairman of the party does not know what he's saying? So, now you say you have your own um, membership card. How many of the members of, oh, of the AP, how many members of the APC in Delta State have their membership cards? Do you have an idea? As we speak, there are over 350,000 members that have their membership cards. Now, the temporary cards are still there. And then all you need to do for, for a direct primary, you go to a ward. And then the members will turn up to, this, to the voting center. And then when they get there, you do, a, you do accreditation. The, the national will bring the register, which they have. The state chairman of the party, James uh, Joe Serue, has been the state chairman of the party since 2014. And so, and he had registers, which, of course, all the local government and the wards, they all have. So those registers are available. And then you, you come to the, you, you identify yourself, you do accreditation at the world level, and then you vote and go. It's as simple as that. Do you that think... that is what we bring peace to the party. You and really that, think that direct primaries is what if is... if that is done, and if that is done, we are sure, we are sure to win in, in, in February. That I can assure you, and that the party knows. And Mr. Mr. Dubo, Dubo, look, we the are other side of this is... Chances of Mr. President winning in Delta. Because we have a program that will bring 2 million votes for Mr. President. Okay. And this... this Mr. Uh, Dubois, if I may come in here. Is a part what of is most it. paramount to you? And that is the you. same method that will be used for the president's own direct primary. Mr. Dubois, what is paramount to you? The unity of the party or direct primary? The unity of the party is primary. And what will bring unity to the party is direct primary. Okay, well, we will just uh, very quickly um, get your own thoughts on uh, that. Yeah, let me say this very quickly. First, it is not a fact that one candidate of the five governorship, can, of the five governorship aspirants does not want direct primaries. Everybody saw it on the paper. Great Ogboru says, I stand for direct primaries. And he commended the national president chairman of the party for the great innovation because this is returning power to the people. There, there are five aspirants. So, so the, which one of them wants the direct and which wants the Great Ogboru wants the direct primaries. Great Ogboru say he doesn't want a, a direct primaries. But he says, I want direct primaries. He wasn't even in the stakeholders meeting where the decision was taken. Part of Tommy was in that meeting where the generality of the stakeholders decided. Great of Baru was holding a town, a, town, a, a town hall meeting of consultation when that process was taking place. He personally stands, but the fact is this is democracy, and both procedures are lawful. And whichever is adopted, it doesn't make anything. But is, isn't, that bring, says, isn't that what is bringing the confusion? For, it's not for what the party. is bringing the confusion. What is? Look, you, see, you saw my brother just now who was talking and um, a few days ago. You would have seen, seen his campaign when they were violently moving to INEC and to National Assembly, giving Okowa and threatening brimstone and hell, threatening violence, even for an election that is not here. Campaigns have not started. What is all that rastamatize of trying to just show off violence? Oboru is ready for the elections. This group that is complaining, I'm telling you, they ran away from Delta to Port Harcourt when it was time to do prim primaries, the, the congresses of the party. The congresses that was organized for each ward, all Calcari members, they came with option A4 to save the cost of binder papers. They didn't do it. They ran away. You say that 
if we have the direct or indirect methods, they are all obtainable. Yes, they are lawful. They are lawful. So, and, and but, the but you, you also agree that in that lawful state, that seems to be the point at which this confusion for your party is brewing from. It's is not, that the case? You see, the, you, you, if you look at the struggles for 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 the party escorts, the party structure, when you see the do or die in all the political parties, it's because of delegates. Because the party structure, the party that, the persons that control the structure, elections are usually screwed in their favor because they are the delegates. So you, that's why you see the do or die. And this direct primary is a way of whittling down that, that do or die, returning the power to the people. But where there is either insufficient fund to do it, or there is the likelihood of trade of lives and property, security breach, the wisdom may be to conduct indirect primaries. But as far as the Oboru team is concerned, we are ready for whichever Which that one? the National Working Committee of the party Decides approves. On. Okay, but the party leadership yes. had said direct primaries. The party leadership have said direct primaries for presidential okay. election, and each state that wants indirect primaries, the we'll stakeholders in the state, conditions. The, 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 the stakeholders in the state should reach the decision and make a formal application to the National Working Committee. Which is conditional. Which is conditional. Okay. So upon the approval. Okay. It's now, only the, the other side the of approval it is, of the National Working Committee. The other side of it is. Yes. Which one saves money or saves resources? Indirect primary saves money. Really? A lot of money and logistics is saved. Option A4 doesn't save money. Where you line up behind your candidates. No, no. You money. see, the, if, when you go for direct primaries, you have to collate all the elections from every part. You have to carry, you feel like we want to have a national convention. We have to carry every membership of the party from all the, over the country to go to Abuja. But Abuja, Abuja the party has the money. I mean, 3.8 billion it. is what you have. The party, it, it will continue. We are going okay. for elections. 3.8 billion. Your we party has 3.8 billion we are going to spend. For, how, how much is that? How much many of are you going to conduct elections? Don't you have enough money? 180 billion. Does your party enough. in your state not have enough money to conduct these primaries? My party the state, how rich are we? The thing is not even whether we are rich or not rich. That's why we are using the option A4 for, for, uh, formula. Because we are not printing ballot okay. to reduce cost. You get it, and to use primitive uh, method of transparency, okay. like a classroom but then, monitor our election. Again, isn't the direct primary a better choice to curb vote buying because you may not have money to buy the vote of all the party members? Isn't that vote what the idea buying, is? Then it's vote buying, whether by direct or indirect primaries, people who want to buy votes will still buy votes. People who have that mentality of buying votes, who came from so PDP, there are people in there Delta people State affected who can PDP buy mentality to buy votes. Okay, Mr. You get it. Mr. Mr. Kairo talked about the number of the members you have. He said over three hundred and fifty thousand. He doesn't even know what he's Hold talking on. about. Nobody I'm knows the numbers question? we have now. Everything is approximated. So, so you're saying is you have members who have the capacity to, in quote, buy three hundred and fifty thousand know, you know members. What, you know why? Is that know, what you're saying in Delta State? Look, 380,000 is a small figure. 380,000. 1,000 naira. People can vote for 1,000 naira. 50, 50 kobo. Okay. 2, 2 naira. If so you, if, if you have delegates, how much would you be, how much would the delegates be bought? If it was a delegate, a delegate ought not to be bought. It's an aberration to buy people. People should vote their conscience, not money. The monetization of election is a big crime. Okay. Let's and so we, we, Oboru team, look, Great Oboru is called the People's General okay. because of the mass following.